Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we will uh, run with the steps that we can follow to create Azure subcode keys. So as you know that I have already explained in the previous lecture, to open a case, you can go to that specific resource and look for help or support. For example, uh, if you are looking for any kind of help directly from the Azure portal, you can click on this. Or if you are looking for some kind of help, maybe uh, let's take one of the storage account for example and you are looking for some kind of help on this So you have an option here directly from the resource So the main advantage or difference would be if you try to open from here uh, So you might have to enter what kind of resource and all that when you click and open from here But directly from here, you know that right from that specific object, you know what's happening and you can uh, Directly open a case. So that's the advantage. So let's run with the uh, steps that needs to be taken so you can click on that question mark that would uh, give me the help and support and you can you know fill the new support request directly from here uh, that's what we can you know uh, click on it for example here uh, you need to you know select uh, this uh, resource specific things and other things but whereas if you select from here it would be you know just a new support and then uh, you would be you know filling up all that uh, required information for example uh, if you have a plan for uh, azure services what kind of you know service you have the problem maybe is this a specific vm or uh, stopping vm or uh, such things you know all that will be listed here and then you need to you know choose the type of the issue so in this case if you see here the type of the issue is technical so when you choose the technical that means you should have a plan uh, because if you remember uh, we talked about free plan uh, that's a basic plan uh, which doesn't cover your uh, Building which only covers for the building and your uh, subscription specific things, but not your actual technical problem. So to uh, to clear the any of the technical issues that you have, either you need to have any of the standard or professional direct or premium support. So in this case, it is a technical. That means the subscription I need to choose next, and then the type of the resource and type of the issue you have. And once you fill that, you can simply uh, look for the solutions. Uh, if any of the solution is uh, already found, that's fine. Otherwise, you need to you know, raise a case that would actually raise a case for you. And there's a wonderful video which is uh, I'm going to share with this uh, uh, video which you can you know go through it, uh, which was uh, driven by Ganga. And uh, you can check that video also. Let me uh, run on my Microsoft portal. So what would happen is, since I don't have a technical plan, I can't open a case directly. Uh, on a technical issue instead I can go for any of the billing or the subscription specific so if you see here technical and then uh, I should be able to choose a problem that you want me to uh, resolve so I have in fact the technical subscription so I can choose here what kind of you no know, problem for, let's say I have a problem with my Azure firewalls or maybe uh, with some of the virtual machine let's say it got uh, not I'm not able to you know connect to the VM or something like that then I should be you know, able to list that specific VM here so I need to you know select the resource group whatever the resource groups I have so I have only one and I need to uh, type the type of the problem I need to you know, choose for example I want to uh, migrate or move to some other location or to as your site recovery has a problem something like that you can you know choose it based on your uh, problem description and the subcategory and type of the issue let's say I, uh, I'm not able to not able to uh, take the backup example and then you simply have to click on the next solutions so that would actually uh, take me to the uh, solutions options you choose you know one of the option if uh, if any of these can be you no know, resolved that's well and good otherwise you need you know uh, click on next details and then uh, you can you know choose one of the plan so in my case you know or uh, $29 plan or example you see here this is a plan which is um, talking about the developer and standard so based on that uh, mechanism or based on that subscription plan you can choose it uh, view plans and then you know submit the case so since it's a technical I don't have a subscription plan so I can't f uh, proceed further but that's the steps what you can you know follow hope that uh, helps you to understand about how to raise a case with Microsoft uh, thank you for watching this. I hope this is useful for you.